situation regarding about the social security instead of taxes? Um, no, I really don't know what's going on. Okay, uh, we got an only determinative social security number because we found some suspicious and fraudulent activity under your name, along with the social number in the state of taxes. So you said you were not aware about the situation, right? No, I'm not. You're talking about my social security number or my taxes? Yes, your social security number. So what's happened to my social uh, security number? Let me tell you, in order for me to go ahead and pull up your files to check it out, can you confirm me your first name along with your last name? Sure, my name's Andre Bay. You should have my information already there. You called me. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said you should have my information. You called me. I just want to verify and to make sure I'm talking with the right person. Yeah, I just told you my name. To yeah, I just told you my name. What was that? It was Andre. Uh, okay. Um, can you confirm your current zip code? My zip code? Yeah, current zip code. Yeah, it's nine seven four one five. Nine seven four one five. Yeah. Okay. You, you said your name was Andrew Bay. Correct. Um, okay, for the last time, can you confirm your zip code once again? My zip code? Yes. It's 97415. Okay, alright, and can you verify me the last one of the social? The last four? Yeah, the last four digits. Um, what do you have for the last four? We are not here to alter you. Okay, for the last four, Five five one eight. Five five one eight. Okay, I'll go ahead and pull up your files and at the meantime, can you grab a page and piece of paper? I will be providing you your uh, information along with your case number. Um okay, just a minute. Okay, go ahead. All right, first of all, write down my first name, Susan. Susan? All right. Her last name, Mia. Can you spell that? Okay, S-U-S-A-M-M-I-L-L-E-R. Okay. And write down my employee page number, S-S-A. Five nine six two three. Okay. <clears throat> and write down your case number letter M as in Mike. Okay. O like Oscar. Okay. <laughs> Five zero one nine three. Five zero one nine three. Okay, got it. Susan Miller, 59683, ML50193. I believe you got all the information, right? I got it. Thank you. Okay, so I believe you were in the state of Arabian Herbal, right? Pardon? I, you were in the state of Oregon, right? State of what? Oregon? Oregon? Yes. I, I've never heard of a state of Oregon. Where are you located? I'm in Oregon. And is this your current address, 508 Hamlock Street? Yes, it is. All right. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm going to do now is listen to me carefully. For, <laughs> listen to me carefully, and I will give you a fair chance to speak, okay? Oh, okay, great. Thank you. I appreciate that fair chance. So you said you were not aware about the situation, right? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so this investigation was started by the law enforcement agencies under your name, along with your social number, and when we have found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas, the make and model of the car was a 2008 black Toyota Corolla with a plate number TX2440. Wait, wait a minute. You, 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 wait a minute. Can you repeat that? I'm not catching that. Were you talking about Texas in a car? What I'm telling you is when we have done investigation, 
We have found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas. Oh, the abandoned car. Of the car was 2008 black Toyota Corolla with a plate number TX2440. Okay. The car was idle on the street. Locals reported about this car to the local sheriff department. Okay. And they have done investigation of this okay. car. When they investigated the car, they found blood and drugs inside the car, which made them totally controlling. Later on, the, this car was rented under your name along with your social number, and there are two address which links under your name. The first address is 7609 Claremont Avenue, El Paso, Texas, with a zip code 79835, and the second address is 508 Hamlock Street. Alright, that's... Go ahead. And do you, do you have any properties rented under your name along with your social number in the state of taxes in your past? Yeah, that sounds like that car was uh, mine at one point in time. Um, I was uh, running some cartel drugs at the time and I had to abandon that in Texas because the law was after me. Okay, and when I was we working for the Mexican car Pardon? When we have done further in this investigation, we found five properties rented under your name along with your social security number. It was rated by the Stack Texas Rangers Division and U.S. Marshal Department. But unfortunately, there was no one available at the residence, but we found some documentation which relates to your banking institution, Bank of America, World's Virgo, Trans Bank, Tiddy Bank, Region Bank. So several banks are linked with your name along with your social number and on this account, to the three hundred six thousand and seven hundred for the five dollars have been wired locally and internationally, which is totally suspicious to the government. This money has been wired to narco trafficking country for the criminal activity. So did you ever lose your wallet or ID or did you ever share any of the personal information with your family, friends and relatives? Um, only the only the cartel. Okay. That was when I was running drugs for the cartel. Is that illegal? Okay. Uh, and when was that? Um, I've been doing that all my life. That's my profession. I run drugs for the Mexican cartel. Is that illegal? Oh. Yes, it's illegal. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I wouldn't have done it. So, I owe money or something now? You did not owe any money, but several accounts has link on the name along with the social number. We haven't found a real culprit. That is why we're having an investigation and check to check it out what is exactly going to eat. We are just here to help you. Okay? So, how are you going to help me? The... Senior officer will deal you, they will let you know the procedure, what you have to do, and what they have to do, okay? So, I'm still not really understanding, have I committed a crime? Okay, well, let's do one thing, I'll transfer your call to the senior officer, okay? You have a word with them. Oh, okay, if you think that's best. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think she might have hung up on me. Still there? Yes, I'm still here. Yeah, stay on the line. I'll connect to you. You'll call to the senior officer. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate your help. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, thanks for holding line. My name is Officer Richard Johnson. May I know who I'm talking to? My name is Andre. Hi, Mr. Andre. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. I do believe you were speaking to one of my officers regarding the case, and I do believe she might have explained to you what is going on. Um, I really don't understand what's going on. She didn't explain to you what is going on? She did. She tried to, but I don't really understand what's going on. Maybe you can explain it to me better. I, 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 I had a hard time understanding what she was saying. Mm -hmm. No problem. So what I can do for you is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try to explain you 
more redundant than you can. Okay, very uh, good. Then you can find like, what we need to do today, okay? Oh, very good. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Oh, okay. Can I put you in the hole first? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, put me on hold, that's fine. <laughs> um, before we go ahead and proceed with this case, is it any possible that can you help me out with the full social number of yours? My what? Your full social security number. Oh, I already verified that with the other lady, so we're good to go there. She already verified everything. I just don't understand what's what's going on. See, the main problem that I can see here right now, that is, you need to understand that you are being listed in a money laundering case at this point in time. Are you aware about this? Is that from when I was um, running drugs for the Mexican cartel? So, I, so who who wants part of my money for doing that? The government? Okay. So, have you ever been arrested for that? Oh yeah, multiple times, but I always get away with it. I have really good lawyers. But uh, does the government now want part of my drug money? Mm -hmm, exactly. Really? Well, I need some money on you. Exactly. Really? Well, how how much? We, are... we 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 come to know about that. You have many legal accounts under your name, right? I I do, and, and I have a lot of properties, and um, I've only worked for the Mexican cartel, so. I really don't know how the government's getting involved in my business, but if they want if they want a cut of my drug money, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and give them a, a cut of my drug money that I that I have. How, how much how much do they need? Mm -hmm. They just need fifteen percent of your amount. Fifteen percent. Ten percent. Ten percent the amount of what? Your money that you're earning. And you're keeping it for yourself. So what about my overseas bank accounts? Do they want part of that as well? Because I usually keep all my money in Sweden. Okay, so you have an overseas account too. Yes, I do. But I do have some money here in the United States as well. But it's okay. all, it, it, you know, most of it's just in cash. That's how, that's how the drug running business works is it's cash. And so... That means you are having a huge amount of black like, money on it, exactly. But how, you don't pay anything for the government for that. No, and so, for that. no, and I'm not sure how they can figure out how much money I have because I don't report it. It's illegal drug money. So 10% of what? I guess I could just say I only have a couple of dollars, but in reality I have millions. They have been having an investigation on you, on your, like, on your movement. Came to know. Well, that's fine, but I, I just don't. I mean, do you have a dollar amount the government wants from me? Because they they don't have no way to know how much money I make from running drugs. They just want five to ten percent of the amount that you can give it to them. So either five or ten percent. Mm -hmm. Well, I would definitely have to pick the five percent. Um, so, um, without them knowing how much money I actually have, how do, you know, how do I know they'll be satisfied with what I send them? And where do I send this money to? We will give you the information for that, how you need to go ahead and do that. All right, well, I'm definitely going to need that information. I'm, st I'm still kind of concerned why, why our government... The thing is, like, if you do not want any trouble from them, if you want to keep doing that job, then it's better for you to pay them, right? It will be good for you only. Well, yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely a good job, it's that's for sure. Compromise. Yeah, it's really a good it's job. Compromise. So, 
Well, let's go ahead and see if we can get this cleared up and I can make a payment to, to my government. I didn't realize my government was involved in illegal drug dealings, but you know, if, if they are and all I have to do is pay them some money, I guess that's what I need to do. <laughs> and like that, he hung up. I was wasted 15 minutes of his time. <laughs> what a douchebag. Let's see if I can get this saved and uploaded.